today's Tuesday and we leave on Monday so Six we have days from here. less than a week to go and one bike it's done Fernando's bike is still to finish we need to finish the the wheels yeah it's lacking just the wheels and yeah. that's it and today is the day we're going to do the trolley but you know it's a DIY trolley Last time we did the bike trip to Slovenia, we realized the bikes were too heavy. So that was slowing me down, especially because I'm much slower than Tiago. So what we decided this time is like we can carry a trolley, then just Tiago carries all the things and I can go a little bit lighter. <laughs> Uh, so we decided awesome. to do it on, on our own because the trolley is quite expensive. And you know, it's a new challenge. As the bikes are all recycled, why not do the trolley ourselves? So we came to this other town near Parma with Luigi and he's going to make the trolley from this scratch. And he's teaching us everything so we can help him a little bit and mm. hopefully by Sunday we're going to have our trolley. It's cool because we're yeah. not only cycling, we're helping to make all our gears, the bikes, the trolley, everything. So let's make the trolley. <laughs> Okay, so the trip has started. Here we are again, looking awkward with the helmets. No, but check out the bikes. <laughs> no, seriously. Today, today, this time we are prepared, kind of. So that's what we have. That's Fernanda's bike. That's my bike, and that's my glass on the floor. <laughs> Never mind. And that's the trolley. Whoa! How bloody prepared! Seriously, I cannot believe it. It looks like we've been traveling like for three years already. <laughs> but it's just the first half an hour. No, but let's say how it was this morning. It's going to start all over again. Here we are on another bike trip. This time going to Puglia. We are still in Parma. These are the first 10 minutes of our journey. So far, so good. Today is going to be the most challenging day because we have to go through this Passo della Cisa. 
which is 1,000 meters above sea level. So um, we have to climb this mountain with the, the bikes. We haven't trained at all. We actually picked up the, the bikes yesterday and we didn't have time to do any training or exercise. So it will be interesting. At least we're gonna have some material to show, I think. We got the bikes two days ago. Yesterday we finished everything, but the bikes we got two days ago. Yeah. And seriously, we haven't prepared at all. We didn't have time to do anything. Like we had so much work and so many things like to organize before uh, departuring. We're doing our food shopping just now. Yeah. And now you're gonna head to Paso de la Chisa. Which is? Which is a, um, across the mountains, across the Apennines towards the sea. So you're gonna go up about a thousand meters uh, within about, uh, I think, 15, 20 kilometers. So it's the toughest part, apparently. Of the trip. If we can make up to the Chisa, we can make to Puglia. Exactly. exactly. So the, the, the goal today is to Pentremoli which is after the Paso de la Chisa, on top of the mountain. That's where we're going to camp. We should arrive there. Now it's about 10.30. What do you have say? No idea. So um, let's check it out. Looking at the sun, what do you say? <laughs> what do you say? Uh, 10.44. 10.44, but it's 11.12. Yeah, not too bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so 10 for, so 11.12. It is bad, Tiago. Yes, we it is like bad. So we're going to kilometers to go up the mountain. So I think we're going to arrive at 8 p.m. What do you say? I hope I arrive. <laughs> <laughs> Till then. Okay. Hey. So we are doing our break time. Just have some sandwiches. We're in a The arse is painful now. A bit. It's the big problem. Is my arse. Um, my biggest problem is the wind. It's just too windy. So you have to do like double sports to really cycle. But it's all good. It's all good. Let's go to Pentremoli now. We did the first day. The hardest one. Seriously, I cannot believe it. That it, it was definitely one of the hardest thing I did in my life. You can Because see from our faces. Yeah, we are knackered. <laughs> absolutely destroyed. My legs are, are hurting. Yeah. How about your ass? My ass is fine. What? It's just like... Um, it's just... I'm exhausted. We did... We cycled for nine hours straight. We just did a break, like one or two breaks of half an hour. Yeah. The beginning was fine. The but beginning then, was awesome, actually. So good. But then we started going up the hill and it was endless. We just started to go up the, the hardest part of the Paso de la Chisa. Everybody told us it's real tough, but let's see if we can do it. I'm trying not to think about it because I think it's all in my mind. So if I start getting scared now, I will have already like lost this battle. So trying to keep my mind clear and just wait and see. Trying to live the moment. I don't really know what to expect. But this Paso de la Chis is like 38 kilometers away from here. If we made to there, we're the hardest part of the whole trip, I think, is gone. 